Hey you guys, what's up? It's been a while. Um, I just have been super busy and haven't had a chance to film anything. Plus I was sort of waiting for some things to arrive and there was a few little hiccups. So I still don't have that particular item to show you, but as soon as it arrives, I might just do like a whole video on it. Um, I wanted to share some, a few new clothing items and a new bag and, um, a couple of accessories and then I'll do like a what's in my bag with my new bag. Um, I'm wearing this oversized cardigan from um, Dressed in Lala is the name of the brand. They're a brand based in LA and I kept seeing these come up on Instagram and they're so cute. Um, they were finally offering like free returns if, and um, Prior to that, they were only having store credit and I was just concerned that I wouldn't like this sweater, so I didn't wanna be stuck with store credit, but great quality, love. Packaging was great. They came with some cute little stickers. Um, more importantly than stickers, the sweater quality is really, really nice. Um, I, I am picky about um, fabric content and it does have some polyester, but it is um, mostly, um, nylon and sorry let me look and see mostly viscose and nylon so um and i think viscose is the same as like rayon type of material um so um it's really soft it feels nice and sturdy and thick i even caught my arm on something today and the threads didn't pull so that's always nice um, I love, I loved two of them, two sweaters that they had, the same style, but different um, prints. And this is the little tag that came on the um, the sweater that I'm wearing. I already wore it out because I loved it so much. It literally came today. Came with extra button. And then this is the other one and it is like planets. And I think there's a uh, space guy on here astronaut space guy um there's some rockets on the back um there's a rocket planet stars it's so so fun so you can see both of these i'm sure i'm going to style them on my instagram you can follow me um i'll put my instagram in the description box so those are the clothing items and actually i'm kind of warm so i'm going to take this off i'm just wearing like a gray, plain gray t-shirt, which is a perfect segue into my next items, which are a few plain gap t-shirts. Um, this is 100% cotton. Um, I'll link these down below because they're really, really good. I've already washed them and, and I've dried them and I they're like a really nice not too thick, but not flimsy and really soft. And I can tell like the more I wash them, the more soft they're gonna be. So I'm wearing the gray one and then I got white. I got kind of this like choc hot, like chocolate milk color. I don't, uh, it's like kind of a warm taupey color. And then I got black. And I just love to do like, jeans, a t-shirt or a tank top, and then like a fun jacket or cardigan. Um, or in like the summer, if I'm not wearing jackets and cardigans, I'll do like a fun silk scarf over my t-shirt or um, tank top. And I just find that that's like sort of my go-to is like a neutral, plain, classic base. And then I'll just do fun accessories or a fun um, like coat coat or jacket or sweater over the top of my jeans and t-shirt. So um, I grabbed those and I do, I really like them. I've worn um, them and already love them and love the fit. At first when they came, I got size small. At first when they came, it um, was a little oversized and boxy, like a little more than I wanted. But as soon as I washed and dried, I think it's perfect now and I love it. So um, the other thing I got is I really wanted like a pink beanie, like this very Barbie-ish pink. Um, so I got this and I'm not gonna mess up my hair. I'm already like not thrilled with my hair today. Um, but I've worn this on my Instagram, I think already. 
Um, and I have, I'm having a pink obsession right now and an Hermes obsession right now, which the pink obsession's fine, but the Hermes obsession, not so good. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is a fun piece. And that was on sale for like $9 on Gap's website. And then I think the t-shirts were like around between, um, I think, the gray, black, and white I got in a three pack and they ended up being like $11 each and the taupey color was like maybe 14, um, which I think is fine for a t-shirt, that's pretty good. And they're 100% cotton, so that's important to me. Um, the other thing I got is a couple of fun pairs of jeans. So I got these cargo jeans and they also have this cool um, like strap detail I'll show you, like, Again, like I've already worn these on my Instagram so you can see them on there, but they're just really, really fun. Lighter wash, which I wear different, I wear light and dark washes all year long. It doesn't matter the wash to me. Um, it's kind of like a wider leg. The length is really good for heels. Um, and yeah, go on my Instagram and see how I'm styling those because those are really fun. And then um, I got, a pair of overalls from a store in town um, where I live. And it's kind of like a TJ Maxx Marshalls kind of store. And so these were like, I think marked down from 128 to like 50. And it's the brand We The Free, which I think is like a free people brand. Um, and these are really fun. They are like bleach splattered. And for me, the length is really good so those are cool and I haven't worn those on my Instagram yet but I've definitely played around with them and styled them and I know I'm gonna love them and they look really cute with those cardigans over the top so um this is an item I got a while ago and I've already been using it um, from Louis Came with, of course, the receipt, um, ribbon in a little drawer box, and the um, cards are in here, uh, item number, and dust bag, of course. And the item I got was it's in my bag right here the card holder so it's the um flat card holder in monogram canvas and then it has the pink um the fuchsia leather and I just thought that would be really fun again like I, I have always loved pink but I've sort of like avoided wearing it I'm not sure why and now I'm all in so um yeah, this is fun, just like, um, I love the regular color with the brown too, but I just thought the pink would be more fun. And I have been on a wallet journey. Like, I can't even tell you how many different types of wallets, card holders I've tried out and they just haven't worked for me. Um, this is the one that I've had the longest. I've had it since 2015. And I've really used this as a wallet um, most of that time. But it's just kind of like got a little crowded in here. It's like I don't really need everything in here. And I was always kind of digging through, like looking for my main cards. So what I'm doing is I'm using this for my like main credit card, my ID, and then like the gas card that I use in the middle. And then this just has like all my extra stuff, like insurance cards, extra cards, whatever. And then this is so... Technically, I really only need to bring this with me, but like if I want to bring these together, this is still like so small and can fit in almost every bag I have. So um, I do really like this card holder. I used to have the YSL one and I actually really didn't like it. Um, I thought I wouldn't, wasn't a card holder person, but I love this one and it's working great. It's really easy to just like grab it out. I know exactly where my main cards are and it's just a little bit faster. Um, it's unnecessary, of course, nobody needs this. I think it's, this is like 225. Um, 
but it makes me happy and um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. So I'm glad that I grabbed that. Um, what else? Okay, I did uh, get something from Hermes. Um, not that I need to justify, but I've been selling a lot of stuff on Poshmark and Facebook, um, like a lot of fashion items. And any money that I get from like those types of sales is like my fun money and money that I get to use to spend on fashion or whatever I want to spend it on. And um, so I've kind of been going a little crazy lately, but it's because I've been selling a lot of stuff. And um, so here's a little accessory that I got to go with my um, CDC bracelet. This is in um, the color gold with palladium hardware, which is the silver toned hardware. And I got that in um, Paris last summer when we went to visit our exchange student. Um, <clears throat> ever since then, I've been looking for like another bracelet to stack with it. And I sort of wanted it to be Hermes. It didn't have to be, but I wanted it to be like really complement this one. So anyway, long story long um I got this came I ordered this and it came last week um came with ribbon box receipt um so the item is and I got this online by the way um item came in a dust bag and I got the um it's called be happy double tour because it's uh, a wrap bracelet. So it's doubled. Um, I got it in the color Rose Mexico and Anemone is the purple and gold hardware. And so what you can do is this is reversible. So you can wear it on the purple side or the pink side. And I'm obviously into pink right now. So I've been wearing it on the pink side. I'm just gonna put it on to show you <clears throat> if I can do this fairly quickly. But I'm really loving it. It's so fun. Um, just makes me happy when I look down at my arm and see the pop of pink. And then if I get tired of the pink, I can flip it over to the purple side, which I'm not like a huge purple person, but that's okay. It's still really fun. And so there they are together. And I really, really love that. I like mixing metals. I, um, I do silver and gold all the time mixed. And so, um, yeah, I specifically wanted to mix the metals and I love it. So I've been wearing those like every day. The other thing I got that was Hermes is, um, oh, okay. One of the items that I got for a Valentine's Day gift was um, an Hermes uh, cosmetic pouch. It's the Bride Abrac pouch. Um, I'm not saying that in the French way. I'm just saying that in the American way, but it's spelled Bride Abrac and it is a cosmetic toiletry pouch, but a lot of people buy them and use them as handbags. Um, <clears throat> which is kind of what my plan was. And when it arrived, the snap, one of the snaps didn't work properly. So I sent it back and the sales associate that I was working with is sent it to repair to get it fixed. So it's not here, but it is something and it's pink. I have shared it on my Instagram, but once I get it back, I'm going to do a whole video on it, including, um, a strap and an organizer that I bought specifically for it. So I really hope it comes back and it's all good. Um, but I will share this later as long with the, um, the organizer that I got for it from Zumoni and yeah, I'll talk all about it. But this was another thing that I got for that bag and it's not here. So as soon as it's here, we'll talk about it. Um, but, uh, yeah, another Hermes thing I got was, um, this Apple watch. I have been wanting an Apple watch. I have always been into fitness, but I just decided to get this to kind of go along with my workouts and do the whole like track your steps and stuff. I just thought it would be fun, but 
I didn't want to pay full price. I didn't want to go crazy, like just in case I don't like it. And so I found it on eBay for a really good price. It came with the Hermes um, double tour strap in the color Etope. Um, and then it came with the uh, box and everything and chargers and the packaging and everything like it came with almost everything and it came with the orange sport strap which is the sp specifically Hermes um, so that was awesome and I've been enjoying it so far um, again not necessary but just like a fun accessory to have and so now I kind of like I'm loving my little Hermes wrist situation going on here <clears throat> Um, and then I don't remember if I talked about this in, in the last video, but I had been wanting, I've been wanting an Hermes belt. I had purchased one on fashion file. I purchased one from the website. Neither one of them I was really like in love with. I think there was something about them that felt too like prissy and perfect. And so I was like thinking, I sort of want it to be more of a statement because the other two that I got were smaller. It was, I tried out the um, the 13 millimeter and the 24 millimeter and neither one of them I really loved. So what I ended up doing was I went on Vestier um, Collective's website and I specifically was looking for like beat up Hermes belts and I found the perfect one. I mean this thing is beat to hell but I love it. So when I put it on it doesn't feel too like prissy and prim and proper. It just feels like loved and it's vintage and I I love vintage things like I always have so I got the it's the 32 millimeter gold hardware Constance um buckle and then of course these are it's the belt kit so it's reversible so you can flip it over on the other side and I um I'm not sure what kind of leather this is this is the um the grained leather which Epsom sorry this is Epsom leather and I'm I think this is box leather I'm pretty sure this is box but it's noir black on the back and gold um or brown on the other side and then so you can just take this buckle off and you can flip it over to the other side and now you have it on the black so but I mean this thing is beat like I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but it's like the stitching's coming apart. Yeah, you can. The stitching's coming apart. It's beat up, but I have been loving it, and it's exactly what I wanted. And of course, because it's so beat up, I got it for a really great price. So I was super happy with that. Um, <clears throat> what else? Um, oh, this strap's kind of cool. I got this on Amazon. I got it for my like Pachette Accessoire from Louis Vuitton. And it has Vachetta leather trim, which is cool. And then it even has this little section here where you can clip something on. So um, kind of like the multi-pochette um, situation from Louis Vuitton that you can do. If you have like a the coin purse or from or the clay and you have the mini pochette and the pochette accessoire you can like kind of finagle them all together and create your own multi pochette type of scenario i'm sure you've seen people do this on youtube a lot but um i'll just put it on to show you how cute it is and so yeah you can kind of like just have this hanging and then you can have your uh, mini pochette on here too, which I sometimes do. But uh, yeah, I thought this was really great. Um, I'll definitely link it. It was not expensive, maybe 20 or $25. Um, and I haven't used it that much because I just am not really using this that much lately, but I liked it's good to have and can also clip it onto other bags. So that's kind of a cool little find. I think someone on Instagram shared it and then I like went, followed the link and went and got it. Um, okay, yesterday I got an item from Longchamp. 
this is a very like a bag that not a lot of people talk about there's only a few videos um on youtube about it and it's kind of like a like a more proper kind of businessy style but i um wanted it in a really fun color and i had already had this little coin purse which i just clipped a little uh ring on and so i can clip it onto ba my bags um this color is called candy i'm pretty sure and it's like the most fun barbie pink and so i thought that this bag would be really fun in this color because it takes like a businessy sort of bag and makes it really fun. So it came yesterday, I used it today for the first time and I really like it and I'll tell you why. Um, most people actually have said more negative things than positive about this and I can totally see that and I can agree with that. But um, here's like my thoughts on it. And so here it is. It is the document holder. Um, so it holds, and it actually holds my 13 and a half inch um, laptop with a sleeve inside of it. So that's cool, like that's a cool option, but it's meant for like papers and documents and whatnot. Um, so this is the color candy. Um, my one complaint is that the hardware is gunmetal on the pull and then the rest is gold. Like, I don't really like that and I don't really get it, but I don't really care that much. And then also, this is really cute. Just like clipped on it. And of course, like I'm probably gonna tie scarves onto it and do my own thing. But the handle's a little different than a regular Le Pliage. It's thicker and it's really sturdy. And then it has, of course, the Le Pliage little flap. Um, it folds down small, um, which is how it came. And I ordered this from the Longchamp website, but it ended up, uh, they were out of stock at the time. So I think they said that it ended up shipping out of, um, direct from store at a store in, um, California, which is fine. I don't care. Um, but it did take about like five days to a week to ship. I think it took five days to ship and then arrived um, yesterday. So it took quite, quite a while to arrive, but that, I think that's just because it was out of stock. So anyway, if you just open it, it really just hangs open like this, which I kind of love. Like it makes it look really undone and carefree and just like whatever. But I love to just, you can basically just throw it on your seat, throw it in the grocery cart which is what I did today and like every it's just very open and everything's very accessible so I kind of love that um it has a back pocket here right there back pocket which um most slave pliage bags have like a front or a back pocket or sometimes both and then um I'll just show you what I have in here right now so this is a cosmetic pouch. Um, I think it's called the Neo um, cosmetic pouch. And it's the color raspberry. It's the same as uh, my um, shoulder bag medium top handle. And I love this color, it's really pretty. Um, so I just keep like a bunch of random stuff in here. Um, I'm not gonna go all into it maybe another time. Um, I just have a receipt from shopping earlier. I have like a phone charger. I have my sunglasses, which are my really cool poochie sunglasses. A mini pochette, which has just little random odds and ends in it. A hand cream. This is my favorite hand and body cream. It is the Kopari. You guys get this. It's so good. It doesn't smell like too strong. It has like a really nice sort of clean, fresh smell. I don't even know how to describe that, but um, 
my skin has just been like really enjoying this and it's not sticky it's not greasy like it's just perfect i love it i think you can get it probably on their website but i've got it at ulta and i've also ordered it from target okay um headphones or earbuds these are from amazon toes tozo um is the brand and i love them i cannot do the apple ear pods they don't work for me so um yeah i really like these they're the kind like that have the little thing at the end i yeah i can't do the i've tried the apple airpods they don't work for me so love and the charge lasts forever keys Got my keys and then in the very back is where I keep my um, little wallet situation so that's it I really am loving this so far I mean I know I've only had had it and used it just today but um, I don't know I just think it's cool and different you can of course like I can use it at the office with my computer or I can use it as a handbag but and it fits like a lot of stuff so I could have shoved a ton more stuff in there I can throw like a scarf on top hat gloves whatever um but I need to look into getting an organizer for it I haven't been successful yet but I'm gonna keep looking and or Zumoni and Samorga I think can customize so I might try that too but that's it for this video and all this crap that I've bought, <laughs> but I mean, it, I don't know. It's fun to watch what people buy and I always love these videos. So I'll talk to you guys later. Um, let's chat in the comments about any of this stuff and I'll talk to you guys later.